who does not like that fluid alpha look on your Java Swing application. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hello YouTube people, today I'm going to be doing a quick hot Java Swing tutorial on creating a cool transparent JFrame, I will be using NetBeans IDE with JDK8. To get things started, you should create your own PNG image with an alpha channel. You want to make that application look cool right? We will be using that image as the transparent window background. Then let's get to work. Open up your IDE and create a new project. Select Java application. Let's give it a name. Hit finish. Ok now we have our project with the main class. Just because I'm a very lazy person, I'll just use the GUI builder. So let's go ahead and add a new J frame. Let's give that a name. Alpha window. Ok now we have our JFrame in the GUI Builder. Let's add a J label to use with the PNG image. Get rid of the text. Then let's select the icon. You should select the PNG for this icon. Before you do this, it's better to add the image to the class path. I already added mine. Alright we have our beautiful image here. I added outer glows to the image when I created this, so I could show you that alpha goodness when the application is running. Arrange that in your JFrame. Now if we run this. Wait. Why isn't it running damn it? Okay. Sorry about that. I forgot to set the JFrame as the main class. Let's get that done quickly. Go to the project properties, and in the run section you can find the main class. Let's change it to alpha window. Ok, now we should be good to go. As you can see there's a huge ugly window with borders around that beautiful image. Alright, now the first step to make the form transparent is to get rid of the borders. To do that, go to the JFrame properties and check the property, undecorated to true. Now let's try running it. Good. The borders are gone. OK, to the next step. Open up the source code. I will be adding my code in the constructor. It's as simple as a single line of code. We are going to set the background of the JFrame to 0 alpha. Remember, it's not similar to setting the opacity. Alpha is a color channel, so let's use set background, new color, and we'll be using the RGBA constructor in the color class. It doesn't matter what values you put for R, G and B as long as the A is set to 0. By the way, A is alpha. Don't forget to import the color class. Now let's run it to see the result. Booyah! No border, no background. Look at that alpha goodness. You probably need it started in the center of the screen right? Let's do that by adding one more line of code. Set the frame location relative to null. Yup, that did it. Ok we're done now, let's quickly try the activeness of the JFrame by adding an exit button on top of the image. Oops. Got to change the layout to absolute. Good. 
get the button to top. I have to admit something, I secretly added the code to get the ability to move the windows using our PNG image, that I'll be teaching you in the next video, you can subscribe to keep updated. Ok, as you can see the window is very active, let's try moving it around. works like a charm. That's it for this video people, thank you so much for watching, leave a like and a comment, you can ask for more tutorials and questions, again, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, some giveaways are coming too, see you guys in the next video, tech tech, out.